uh, hello everyone so in the previous video we had an introduction now in this video we are going to talk about the basic setup of apollo server implementation on express so what we can do is we can install we can bootstrap our project from the scratch we will install the required dependencies and we will also look at the package what it is giving us like uh, npm in it i'll be just doing it from scratch Okay, now uh, we have package JSON. You can install the required package which is Apollo server. Okay, then we have express Apollo server express. And we can install GraphQL. Okay, these are actually main package which we need. Other packages are like uh, if you wanted to connect to MongoDB database to get the data from there, then we can install those packages. And uh, in the dev dependencies, we can install all the test package, Exios, Mocha, and Node One. We need to run the application, and we will be using this import export syntax, the ES6 way of imports, not common JS way of import where we are using require. So if we are using this ES6 way of import, then we have to enable the Babel, Babel with the recent target, so that we should be able, our code should be able to compile into the ES5. Because Node.js currently natively doesn't support this ES6 modules where we are importing and exporting things. So we have installed it and can install. So this is the type dependency we are adding, the node mode, maybe Axios, maybe morgan logger and uh, babel core node preset all these are actually we need it babel core babel node okay i'm writing correctly babel preset env you need to you don't need to define multiple targets in the babel rc file you can just uh, provide a recent target so these we are adding in the dev dependencies and we should be good to start our project so what we will do is first let's have a look on this apollo implementation what it provides so this is the module i was talking about apollo server and how we are creating the node.js server using this i mean this can be integrated with express kuwa happy or lambda okay so we just import the apollo server and graphql okay and while starting the server so starting the server is saying we are creating the instance of apollo server and the server.listen particular port okay here we are passing two things to while creating the instance of the server is a type definition and a schema so type definition is all the queries and mutations resolvers are actually the implementation of all the queries and mutations so think about this so in the type definition we will define all the queries type query 1 type login type register uh, type mutation type mutation 2 type mutation 3 in this resolvers we will actually define what those queries and what those mutations were actually going to perform okay once you got the type definition and resolver pass them and our server is ready in just 10 lines of a code right now it depends on what we are writing in the graphql queries and what we are writing in the server so the query is if you see the type query query is hello hello query and the implementation is defined in the resolver so we are actually mapping the query functions with the resolver so hello is just returning a string okay so here we are just passing schema okay you can also combine both the type definition and resolver in just one common object schema and you can see here type definitions and resolvers i defined a resolver for the book and every i mean we will talk about these things later how we are going to pass these arguments and what these argument means parent argument context info context can have a lot of things like data source database connections argument what all argument you are passing in the request body and path parameter okay so it has a good documentation so we are done with our package rock json now what we can do is we can just bootstrap our server.js we can which we got from here and we'll try to see how it works
right so if we just open our code folder then we can what we need to do is now uh, we are actually importing those we are using the here it's a common JSV of importing right so we should be able to compile it we just need to see if we are defining everything properly or not okay your server is ready so now what we need to do we can't exit it like a curl request right this is not uh, here we have to provide a query so query you can use the postman supports the graphql queries or you can also use some browser add-on tools which supports you to trigger the graphical queries okay this is just a basic setup nothing to worry about other additional packages also you can install is which is about like npm install mongoose we have json web token because we will have some kind of a validation uid validator for validating request or class validator and dot env to pass the environment to our package to support the cross origin request bcrypt to hash the password okay this we are installing in the modules so this is just a basic setup with required modules nothing additional okay now what we will do is we'll start with writing our whole setup we'll write our package.json script and we'll bootstrap our server before that we have to write our babelrc file babelrc file is nothing but because we are writing the es6 way of import so we have to configure it and then in the next video we'll just look at that server. So it is babelrc file and we can just so you can see it is the babel preset it's uh, whatever is the current it is pointing to so you don't need to provide all the different stages you wanted to support in the babelrc file and now we can just open package.json and start okay so thanks everyone in the next video we'll start with uh, writing queries resolvers and try to understand how to instantiate this uh, graphql server